Hey guys, it's Lacey and I'm here in my pillow pit. Welcome by the way. Um, you might see this strange roll over here. Well, we're gonna do something with that and it's gonna be awesome. Today we're gonna make hula hoops. I know, you're like, I can just go buy one at the store. No, you can't, not ones this cool. These are high quality hula hoops. They're heavy, so they're good for beginners. It's easier to learn with a heavy hula hoop, okay? Also, you can make one sized perfectly to your body, beginner size, okay? So, first things first, you're gonna need some stuff. First off, we're gonna need to find that giant roll of tubing I showed you earlier. At my Lowe's, it's all the way in the back by the plumbing stuff. If you need help finding it, ask for PEP or well tubing. It comes in 100 foot rolls, which makes nine to 10 hoops, depending on their size. And it comes in three sizes, one inch, three quarter inch, and half inch. One inch is good for beginners, but can cause bruising if you start hooping on other places besides your waist. Half inch is great for tricks and hooping in sensitive areas, but it's hard to find. Three quarter inch is in the middle. Heavy enough to make it a little easier and light enough that bruising isn't really a problem with a little practice. Another thing you're gonna wanna watch out for is the PSI rating. 160 is gonna be heavier than 100. Next up is connectors. These should be really close to the tubing and they usually carry contractor packs of 10, which is perfect for a 100 foot roll. Make sure you get the size that matches the size of your tubing. 3 quarter inch for 3 quarter inch, or 1 inch for 1 inch, or half inch for half inch. Also, make sure you get the straight across ones, like these. And now we're on to pipe cutters. They're going to be in the plumbing section. Just ask for where the pipe cutters are. You're going to want to make sure you get some that are big enough to cut the size you got. These cut up to 1 and a quarter inches, so... You know, anything under that's fine. You're also gonna wanna make sure they're made for plastic, vinyl, and rubber. Um, and getting the ratcheted handle option is a good idea. Makes it a lot easier. And now we're off to go find some electrical tape. It should be in the electrical section. This is great for wrapping your hoops with. You can also use duct tape if you can find it thin enough, or you can split duct tape, but that's a lot of work. Electrical tape is really forgiving. Uh, the only thing is it's a little stretchy. It comes in lots of colors. I particularly like this pack of six because it's only half inch wide and you get all these colors. You'll also need a heat gun or a hair dryer. You can find a heat gun in the paint section. Just ask. And a tape measure for measuring things. You need to know what size you're gonna make your hula hoop. Different people need different sizes of hula hoop. The larger your hula hoop is, up to a certain extent, it's easier to use. So the optimal size for a beginner hula hoop is usually from your toes, the measurement from your feet, to your belly button. To get the, the length of tubing you need to cut, whatever measurement you get from your feet to your belly button, and then take it times 3.14, I know you did not sign up for math. So I'm gonna figure out my measurements real quick and I'll be right back. Okay, so my measurement from my feet to my belly button is 39 inches. So I'm gonna take 39 inches times 3.14 and that equals 122.46. Okay, so I'm just gonna do 122 and a half. That's what you needed your tape measure for. You wanna make sure when you're measuring that you measure on the outside of the circle because it makes it easier. Since my tape measure is only 60 inches long, I'm gonna measure 60 inches and then I'm gonna take the number that I need minus 60 and that'll tell me how many more inches I have to measure, which is 62 and a half. And I'm actually gonna mark mine with some chalk. This is not working super well. You might actually wanna use like a silver Sharpie or something like that. This sucker is sharp, like straight up, can cut your fingers off. So do not, don't put your fingers in there. Don't. See, that easy. So now we have our hula hoop and it's gonna be a big hula hoop because it's a beginner hula hoop. 
see, it already looks like a hula hoop. Now you're gonna use your connectors. And you're also gonna need to get the heat gun or hair dryer, you know, depending on what you're using. This thing is kind of dangerous. It can get up to 1150 degrees, but don't burn yourself. Don't burn yourself. On mine, there's a temperature adjustment setting. I'm gonna put it on low. You can do this with a hair dryer, like I said. You wanna just like warm this tube up so it's more flexible. Warm it up really, really good. Don't, not so hot you get burned, but warm it up enough that you can pop one of these suckers in pretty easily, okay? Let's see if we can get it in now. Um, but you just push it in there. I have trouble pushing with the heel of my hand, so I put it on the floor. My version of exercise. Up, uh, makes it expand and makes it slightly more pliable. There we go. One side done. Now we gotta do the other side. Okay, here we go. See? There's a very, very slight gap, but not bad. It's looking pretty good, huh? Next up is to make it pretty. That's what we're gonna use this tape for. You can get multiple different sizes of this tape. If you use your hoop on concrete, it's gonna get torn up, okay? Your hoop will get torn up if you use it on concrete. Your uh, tape will get torn up if you use it on concrete. Like, concrete is not good for hula hoops. Um, so if you don't want it to get like rough and torn up, don't use it on concrete. So you've got your tape. Now your big important decision, the most important decision, what colors are you gonna make your hoop? I think I'm gonna do blue and red. So you're gonna take your hoop. You're gonna start somewhere. You're gonna put it on there so that it is at a, like a 45 degree angle. And then you just pull some tape out and you let it do its natural like shape around the hoop. If, you, if it's stretchy and it stretches, then you start getting an uneven pattern. So you want to let it like relax and just kind of wipe the, this stuff is like static clean. So just kind of wipe dust off of it as you go um, because there will be some stuff to it. Some people get paid to take hoops. Like if you get really good at it, people pay you to do it in certain communities. I mean, you know, obviously you're not going to go to Walmart and tape the hoops. So when you get to the end, you're probably not going to match up. Right. So I undo a little bit on both sides. And I always cut enough that it overlaps by like an inch. So you undo a little bit on both sides. And you kind of like, if it was, you know, a little, if it came a little short, you just kind of pull these out a little longer. Um, and if you do it gradually and not just like one big abrupt move, it's less noticeable. So.
see they're closer there, but it's not like super like bad looking because it's you know off just slightly. Now I'm gonna do a second color because I think it looks fun. Funner than a single color. Single color is fun, but not really fun. And I usually put the start in about the same location. Okay, you're gonna cross it like an X. 90 degrees. Now just do the same thing, but like at a different angle. got a little bit of a tighter curve going here. I'm gonna go back and fix it. I try to make it an X on the edge with the next one. Just get it as close as you can when it gets off and then try on the next one to get even closer. And then there you go. And you have made yourself a hula hoop. I'm gonna go outside and hoop with it. I don't have enough room in here. I'm gonna pretend orbiting me. So I really hope that you guys enjoyed this video and uh, making this uh, hula hoop with me. I, uh, I really enjoy making these videos for you guys. And um, if you enjoy these videos, please subscribe to my channel. And if you want to see more tutorials, hit that like button so I can know to make them. And um, I want you guys to know that you guys are super special, every single one of you. And uh, I make these videos for you guys. And so does every other YouTuber. Without you guys, we would have no reason to do this. So thank you for being you and wonderful. And uh, bye.